Oslo is a fantastic city. It's close to the sea, close to the woods, close to the mountains. It's a big city, yet it's small as well. I find Oslo very multicultural and diverse. Everything you need and everything that is good for living. In Oslo, the public transport is now emissions free. That means that the buses, metro, trams, everything is running on electricity. Doing a hackathon with the Upper Project, where we are cooperating with housing organizations to provide bundled transport services. In this upper measure, we want to simplify life without a private car and reduce car dependency. At this hackathon, it's uh, interesting to hear some new ideas and uh, concepts that can help to make it easier to let the car yeah, be. Just, you save this much money by not snoozing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, very curious about what kind of input we get from the young people, those who are everyday users. There will most likely be a more excited solution to the problem that we have thought about. We are collecting a lot of different people from different backgrounds, different educations, uh, and then you get a lot of different perspectives. <laughs> I know, it's really bad. The, the car pickup seems to be... We can also look into how to create more eco-friendly paths for the public transport to be productive in parallel to creating environments for walking and cycling as well. It has to be connected. About equal or faster than cars. And that the calculator provides those numbers. Getting a housing association as a customer, because that's quite valuable. Uh, develop a solution called Green Ecosystem. Our goal is to reduce car usage overall and also have like a sharing kind of mindset for everyone. So our idea is to create a departure board display or an app on your phone, creating opportunities for USBL and other developers to create more dense areas. Um, our product is a cost the calculator, really see how much you are really using. We hope that this will help them establish a green shift in transportation. Um, the winner of the hackathon is Idebo. People uh, like to move and we want to simplify life uh, without owning a private car. So it's really just about making life easier. Instead of all the time using technology to create new strange experiences for us, try to make them more natural. Uh, it's important to get around in an easy way, both to the work, to the home and to the nature. It should be part of our daily life. The whole future cities are about people and not about technology.